Well, as we all know, the siege of Coago Castle took place between October of 1545 and May of 1546. During that time, the much less manned forces of the Hojo clan managed to defend themselves from the invading Wasugi clan. And despite only numbering 3,000 troops against the enemy's 80,000, the Hojo clan suffered minimal losses. The siege was ended when Hojo Ujiasu arrived with an additional 8,000 troops to bolster his twin brother's forces and fully repel the invaders. Joe, how can you possibly believe that's something we all know? It's just some basic history, Donald. Not really. I've lived my entire life in Japan, and this is the first I'm hearing of it. If the native Japanese man doesn't know about it, it certainly isn't basic history. Well, it was in the textbooks, and you've had all semester to read them. Joe, this is literally the second day of class. And? Gosh, you know, I'm really not liking this turning of the tables. I'm usually the smart one of the three of us, so if that position falls to Joe, what am I? Barack, you were never the smart one. You were just the nerd. But don't worry, you'll always be the black guy. Unless... Don't even go there, Donald. You three have such an effortless chemistry. And it's surprising considering the differences in your sexualities. Shh, Soda-kun, Barack hasn't come to terms with that yet. I don't think he was talking about me, Donald. Oh yeah, of course not. We all believe you when you say you're interested in women. After all, you're married to a woman who positively exudes femininity. Well, changing the subject, have you started reading Hidoku Sinead like I suggested, Donald? Hell yeah, I have. My Japanese is still pretty rusty, but that Hideyuki Maya sure is a ladies man. And the way he ironically blackmails Takashi Nimugasa into giving him head is hilarious. It's just like in The Hateful Eight. Well, if you like that, I have a ton of other recommendations for you. Send them my way. At the very least, it'll be good research for the manga store. Maybe you can suggest some of them to George, too. It seems right up his alley. I don't see why George would like Yaoi Manga Barak, but maybe... Speaking of George, I wonder what he's up to these days. Well, the last I heard, he was still at Rutgers. I know you're trying to treat the boys, Ronaldo, but Haresh trusted us with Beta Theta Pi while he's in Japan, and both of us know that if we get ice cream two days in a row, we're all going to end up with tummy aches. Not if we all agree to only get one scoop, George. Ronaldo, be straight with me. Do you really think that we'll be able to limit ourselves to one scoop when the creamy allure of Baskin Robbins presents itself? No, I guess you're right, George, but how do I tell the boys? They'll be so disappointed. Heavy hangs the head that wears the crown. There's no easy way to break bad news. Like when I had to tell Congress that Iraq didn't have advanced copies of Sonic Heroes like they said they did. Dang well, wish me luck. Good luck, Ronaldo, and see you around. I have to head out to class now. Oh, hey, Josh, what's up, Ellie? Lucky, I see you there. Don't forget to do your accounting homework before you go to the Sigma Delta Tau party later. I want to see you graduate this year, bud. Hey, George, what's up? Todd, glad to see you. Are you ready to go to class? Kind of, but... I wanted to run something by you first. I'm not exactly sure what to make of it. Sure thing. What's troubling you, pal? Is it the essay on David Copperfield? He's not actually made of copper, if that's confusing you. It's just the character's name. No, that's not it. Though I did think he was made of copper. I guess I have to rewrite my essay. But what I wanted to talk to you about was this weird voicemail that Donald left me. Todd, it's Big Donnie. I miss you so goddamn much right now that it hurts. It's like a limb has been torn off without you with me. Donald, please be quiet. It's three in the morning. Shut the fuck up, Barack. I'm calling Todd. Sorry you had to hear that, Todd. So things here are going good otherwise. I met this really hot guy named Soda Kun. We're gonna go clubbing at some point, I think. Pick up a ton of chicks. You should fly out and join us. I can't see a woman not going for that chiseled jaw and abs that look like they were sculpted by Michelangelo. Donald, Joe's snoring is annoying enough. I don't need to hear you being sexually confused. Fine, Barack. Now fuck off. I'm sorry, Todd. I gotta go hugs and kisses. Wowzers. Even I don't know how to unpack that one. Let's just chalk it up to Donnie being a free spirit and leave it at that. Donnie! Barack Kuhn! Josuke! AI Presidents! AI Presidents! This is the place.
I know I'm here on business, but I've been wondering what those foot-long cookies taste like. No, Rob, you have to focus. Hey, where's the manager? I have some questions. And if I don't like your answers, I have some torture. Hello, my friend. I am the manager. My name is Prabha. How can I help you? Prabhat? That sounds familiar. You are probably one of my nephew Haresh's millions of friends. Haresh? That makes sense. No, I know him, but we're certainly not friends. Not friends with Haresh. How could that be? Perhaps you like your friends a little older. Want to be friends with Prabhat? No, I'm good. But Prabhat is great friend. He gives you 15% discount on Subway sandwiches. Just sandwiches? What about the footlong cookie? Sorry, but Prabhat can't even do for super good friend. Margins are too small on the footlong cookie. Then forget it and just answer my questions. Do you know a man who comes in here? He's a regular apparently, about 6'2", and incredibly frail. 6'2 and frail. Maybe I do but can't say. Why can't you say? Something wrong with your mouth? Let me take a look. I have some decent dental skills from all the torture I've done. No, nothing wrong with my mouth. It's how white people say, quid pro quo. You people always want the wheels greased, but I don't play that way. I'm a maverick. So what I'm going to do is give you a roundhouse kick to the sternum. Let's see if that gets the gears going. No, don't do the roundhouse kick. Prabhat was just hoping that you could be new friend in exchange for information. Ugh, back to the fucking friend thing again. What does it entail exactly? If it's too much trouble, I'm just going to do the kick. You have to go with Prabhat to Jonas Brothers concert in Mexico City as well as joining his group chat. Hmm, I'm gonna say okay, but just because it'd be a good chance to take down a cartel or two. Ye Prabhat is very happy. Whatever, just give me the info. Oh right, man you look for has Subway sandwiches delivered every day to warehouse on Rainsane Avenue. What kind of sandwiches? Falafel on flatbread with cucumbers and red wine vinegar. That's a weird fucking sandwich. Phew. Long day. What do you say we hit up the calf before heading over to the Sigma Delta Tau party? I told Al that I was going to meet him there. Oh, okay, sure. I guess so. What's wrong, Todd? You seem a little blue. It's just the big astronomy exam coming up. I thought I did well on the practice test. But when the professor handed them back today, he put a frowny face on mine, which I think isn't a good thing. Not necessarily. He could just be sad because you did great and he hates you. What grade did you get? That's the thing. He didn't even put a grade on it. He just drew an egg. Yikes, Todd. I hate to burst your bubble further, but I think that was a zero, not an egg. Oh. Are you two talking about the big astronomy exam? Hey, Josh. Yeah, we were. I was talking to some upperclassmen earlier and they told me that it's the hardest test in any first year class. Barely anyone even passes it. Really? Now I'm extra worried. They also told me that if you want a guaranteed A, there's a guy who'll sell you a copy of the exam ahead of time. But that sounds like cheating. Yeah, it does. And before weekly wee wee inspection, my pastor used to always tell me that cheaters go to hell. Maybe. But isn't it worse that such an important class is a nearly unpassable test? What else are students supposed to do? That's another good point. Oh goodness, I don't know what I should do now. Come on, Todd, you can't cheat. We'll just study together and I'm sure we'll be fine. Can you be so sure, George? I hear that you didn't do so well on the practice test either. Who told you that? Well, uh, to be entirely honest, I got a D, but I was up the whole night before, so it was probably just a fluke. And you're willing to chance that? George, I'm starting to think that Josh is right. We should buy the test and then ask for forgiveness from God later. It worked with Abraham Lincoln after he freed the slaves. Oh wait, I think I just said a racism. Either way, we should do it. Glad to see you're talking sense. The house where the guy lives Jeepers, is Jeepers, I can't listen to this. La, la 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 Got it, Josh. Thanks. You're welcome, and good luck. Jeez Louise, Todd, what have you gotten us into? I'm a freak, but I know I'm not dead. You and me put the rhythm in my head. I'm a beast, I explore you instead. All your moves got the rhythm in my head. Oh, I think this is the place. Hmm, there doesn't seem to be any activity going on inside, but this is 348 Remsen Avenue. 
Prabhat better not have lied to me because if he thinks he can lie to me and I'll still go to the Jonas Brothers concert, he has another thing coming. Well, that's not entirely true. I'll probably go anyway, but only if I'm confident that they're going to play some of their back catalog. I fuck hard with poor, unfortunate souls. Hold your horses, Todd. Let's just think this out. We can head to the party everyone's waiting for us. Then we'll see how we feel after a good night's sleep. No. If I wait too long, I think I'm going to chicken out from the feeling that I'm doing something wrong. Todd, that's not chickening out. It's called having a conscience. Well, I'm sorry, George, but some of us can't afford to have a conscience. What do you mean? It's hard to talk about. But here I go. Maybe you've noticed. Though I think I've been doing a great job covering it up. But I'm not exactly a smart man. Yes, Todd, I've, uh, had a suspicion. You sure are observant, George. Anyway, my first semester here was rough. And I ended up with a GPA of one. There wasn't even a decimal point. It was just a one. My advisor told me that if I don't get my grades up, that I'll be put on probation and be at risk of expulsion. If I don't get a good grade on this astronomy test, it'll take more than a miracle for me to recover my GPA. So that's what I mean by not being able to afford a conscience. Todd, I didn't know. Now you do, so let's just get this test. Huh? Something is happening. Wait, is that... Ugh, what are they doing here? Uh, Todd, are you sure this is the place? I couldn't quite hear Josh with my fingers in my ears, but didn't he say it was a house? Is this not a large metal house? I, uh, I guess it all depends on how it's zoned, but I think it's a warehouse. Warehouse? Well, that's perfect. We are looking for a house, and here it is, right where we are. What? Plus, the addresses match up. 348 Remsen Avenue. At least, that's what I think he said. It was hard to hear through your lawing. Well, as long as that's what he told you, I'm guessing we're fine. Let's head inside. Why are those idiots heading inside? They're going to screw everything up! Dude, I'm telling you, it'll work. You just have to press the buttons in the correct order. There's no way that vending machines would have a secret code to get free soda. Like, why even program that in? It's for like... I think if you own the vending machine and you're thirsty but you don't want to pay your own money, you can put in the code and get a soda. But if you own the vending machine, wouldn't you have keys to open it? I guess, but what if you lost the keys? Then your first priority probably wouldn't be getting free soda. Shut up, you're just too chicken to try. I did try, last week and it didn't work. Well it should have. Did you press the buttons in the right order? Yeah, just like you told me. I did Coke, 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 Sprite, Dr. Pepper, Coke, Dasani, Diet Coke, Coke, and Minute Maid Lemonade. That's your problem. It's Coke, 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 Sprite, Dr. Pepper, Coke, Dasani, Coke, Diet Coke, and Minute Maid Lemonade. You mixed up Coke and Diet Coke near the end. Okay, well, I'll give it one more try, but I still don't believe you. Hello? Is anybody here? I'd like help violating the Rutgers Honor Code, please. Jeepers. This place gives me the creeps, Todd. Well, it is a den of sin, so that must be a good thing. How many times do I have to repeat myself? It's cold, cold. Todd, do you hear someone listing sodas, or is it just me? They must be the ne'er-do-wells selling the test. Let's get a closer look. I have a really bad feeling about this. Sprite, Dr. Pepper, Coke, Dasani, Coke, Diet Coke... Shut the fuck up. Can you stop it with the vending machine thing? We're here for an important job, and we need to focus. Come on, these intercontinental ballistic missiles practically guard themselves. It's not like someone is going to walk right into the warehouse and... Todd, wait up. Oh, hello, sirs. We're sorry to disturb you at this late hour, but would this be the place where you can buy the big Rutgers astronomy test? Uh, no. This is my uh-oh, George. Because I'm starting to remember that Josh told us to go to 384 Remsen Avenue, not 348. Considering the circumstances, I think that's a pretty big uh-oh. Did you guys hear us talking just now, about what we have here? What? No, of course not. We only heard you talking about sodas. I guess I won the listening contest today, George. Because I heard them talking about intercontinental ballistic missiles. Not sure what those are, but if it's a kind of candy, I'd like one. Todd, I once tried to read a book upside down, and yet your stupidity astounds me. So you did hear us? In that case, we're gonna have to make the two of you disappear. Like a magic show. Sure, why not? Brian, when I say Alakazam, you take that bat and swing it right at their- Not so fast. Special Agent Rob with the Department of Justice. A special agent, huh? Brian, do the bat thing to him, too. Fuck. Thought they'd just give up. Whatever. George and Backwoods Billy, come with me and hurry. Rob, what are you- I said hurry! Oh, okay. Damn it, they're getting away. 
Rob, what's going on? What was that place? And did you say you work for the Department of Justice? It's a long story, but yes, I'm a Fed. Don't worry, though. Your boy Rob will always be a maverick. As for that place, it belongs to a notorious kingpin in the underworld. The department got some information a few days ago that a shipment of missiles bound for naval weapons station Earl never arrived. Naturally, I told the director that I was taking this investigation solo and went out in search of answers. Mr. Rob, I don't understand. Weren't you last a Rutgers security guard? Yes, but I was fired and adrift. I did some freelance maverick work, but Joe Biden, as hard as it is to believe, opened my eyes to my potential. I marched right up to Washington and name-dropped those three buffoons. People seem to know who they are there. And I had a badge and an office within the hour. Yikes. That makes me very concerned for national security. As you should be. Especially since you two just ruined the bust of the century. What were you even doing there? Buying answers to the big astronomy test, which I guess I'm going to fail at this point. Astronomy test? If that's your biggest worry, you need a reality check because you two are now on the radar of the most dangerous man in all of New Jersey. That's the second time you've alluded to this individual. Does he have a name? Probably, but I don't know it. But he does have a moniker that he uses in the underworld. Oh, sir, it's you. Ask anyone involved in shady business who they fear most, and you'll hear it. Chubby Chaser. Oh, goodness, just the name has me shaking in my boots. So what do we do? <sighs> well, it seems like there's no choice now. I need to catch this man, and you're coming with me.